Hey everybody, it's Promise. It's been a while since I have created a video just to outline the state of the channel, you know, where things are going, how I'm doing, etc. And as I'm creeping up on 300,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane by the way, I thought it's about time I get my act together, lay things out, and ask for some feedback. I say get my act together because I know full well that I have not been interacting with the community as much as I should be, whether that be in the comments or on Discord, and I do sincerely apologize about that. In my defense, part of that is not my fault. About a month ago, I had a business trip that took me out of state for a while to present some of my designs to the quote-unquote customer, and if you know at all what I do, you'll understand that was kind of nerve-wracking. And then shortly after that, my manager at work took a couple weeks off. I had to do both his job and my job while managing two major projects that were all coming to a head at once. Yeah, it's been a really rough season. I made it through, obviously, but I've been working 50 to 60 hours uh, a week at my job for the last month. And then you toss on another 10 to 20 hours of work on YouTube. And I've been averaging around 70 hours of work. So yeah, I'm exhausted. Uh, at least I do have an annual vacation coming up in a couple of weeks. So I will be out for a few days to recharge my batteries. I'll be fine. But hopefully you'll forgive me for not spending quite as much time as I ought to chatting with you guys. Uh, and that's important to me you understand that because I want you to understand I do not take this community for granted and I really want to spend more time interacting. Okay, you guys have treated me very well these past few years. You've been very patient and I really do appreciate that. I need to reward you and actually hang out some more. Uh, as a quick aside, if you're watching this video and you have not joined the fan discord, I would highly recommend you check it out since that's where I'll spend most of my time if you can find me at all. Although there is also a fan reddit where people post memes if that interests you. Anyway, let's talk about the channel. Performance-wise, it's been a wild ride lately. At the recommendation of my advisor from YouTube, I've been spending some time going through the analytics between series, trying to figure out what appeals to the most people. Finding those trends helps me deliver better content, which is good for my audience, good for channel growth, and also good for my finances. For a while there, the channel revenue was coming in way below my projections, and I had to make some serious budget cuts. That's not too unusual for YouTube cycles, but of course it is a bit scary. But lately, we've been back on track. So what changed? Well, of course, it's all about the content. You all know we finished an EU4 series a while back that took several months to complete, eating up about half of my weekly content. That matters, because when a series is underperforming, technically the best thing to do is to cut your losses and move on to greener pastures. But being the stubborn fool that I am, I kept going anyway. And I paid for it, big time. As soon as that series ended and we started something more popular, everything flipped back to my original projections and we're finally in a pretty good place. So now, I'm trying to look back on this and figure out what I can learn about my audience. Part of this is obvious. EU4 was a marathon of a series and not everyone is going to commit to watching 50 hours of content, especially when the second half is rinse and repeat. And I get that. Heck, even I was getting tired of the same series and that showed a lot in my uh, final videos. I'm glad that I did it, but it needed to end. Now you contrast that game with something like Hearts of Iron and you'll find a few distinctions. Hearts of Iron 4 is a much, much shorter commitment, which leads to less subscriber burn. And then if you add some extra flavor like Fallout, it adds interest and appeals to a wider audience that otherwise might not have watched a World War II game in the first place. Hence why I'm now getting above average views on that series. So if I'm being completely logical about this, the best move for my channel would be to never commit myself to a long series like EU4 World Conquest ever again and only stick to short or medium length series. 12 episodes seems to be the best performing length based on my analytics, though I can get away with as many as 20 if the series is overperforming like this Enclave series. Any more than that becomes risky and I need to move on to something different to keep interest. Simple enough though, right? Unfortunately, there are other variables to consider. For example, look at my Endless Legend series. We're only a few episodes in, and pretty much right from the get-go, the series is underperforming, much to my sadness. Now, I have to ask myself, why is this happening? Am I not making engaging commentary? Is that game not that interesting to my audience? And the answer is probably a combination of both. I should probably cut and run, but now I'm committed to completing the game. That means I'm probably looking at another month or so of underperforming videos. That is a bad business choice, though I'm going to do it anyway because at the end of the day, I like the game and I want to keep playing it, so I will. 
Endless Legend is only the most recent underperformer, but it's certainly not the only one in the last year. Slay the Spire has suffered some similar problems, despite being a really good game that I really enjoy playing. Uh, same with Imperator, same with Date Night Monopoly with my wife. And then Zelda A Link to the Past is in its own class for truly awful results. Basically, if I review the past few months of my content, there are a couple of conclusions I can take away from this. Hearts of Iron and Plague Inc. are generally good. Everything else is a total gamble. If I get average views, I'll consider myself lucky with those, but more often than not, they drag me down. Now, sometimes that's not the case, of course. There are anomalies. Evil Bank Manager performed really well, far better than Endless Legend. Go figure, right? So if I were a smart businessman, this tells me I should only play Hoi 4 and Plague Inc. mods from here on out. Never commit to anything longer than three episodes of new content to test the waters. If it does well, you can continue, but if not, end it. So I guess part of why I'm making this video is to ask my audience, am I right? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Find my niche and then stick to it? I can't say that thrills me, but I understand it. Don't get me wrong, I've been really enjoying the Hearts of Iron 4 series, it's an excellent mod, but games like Plague Inc. have been getting a little stale lately, and I need to take a break from that soon, probably this next week. But what am I left with, really? Like, what can I replace it with that can be genuinely fun for both me, and most importantly, for my audience? And I don't know the answer. It's caused a bit of anxiety, because I don't think I have a good sense of direction. I guess at the end of the day, I don't really know what the silent majority of my audience wants. There's no shortage of suggestions for my hardcore viewers, and I really do appreciate people taking the time out of their day to voice their ideas. I can run with those ideas for months, but most people do not leave their feedback, and all I'm left with is a reduction in views telling me that the audience is not showing up. And that's really frustrating, because I don't know what to do with that information. So yeah, I I'm trying to figure out where to go from here. Maybe I should stick to the niche and do a lot more let's try videos to test the waters in the future. That might mean a reduction in the number of videos going out every week if I do that, though. It does take me hours and hours to research and prepare for new games, which is time I don't currently have, so I need to be very efficient with my time. That's where playing games that are familiar is safe and very easy and time efficient. So I guess here's what I need from you guys watching this video right now. What types of content do you want to see from me? You want to see more of the same or do you need to be seeing something new? Is there a particular game that you think would make a good fit or at least a good genre? But before you type your suggestion in the comments down below, please think carefully about your answer. Something that happens quite often is people will suggest a game that they personally like but they don't think through the full picture on my end. The game may be very fun, it may be of good quality, but then it doesn't fit the audience. Or perhaps it isn't fun to watch someone else play the game, it's better to play it yourself. Or perhaps I wouldn't be good at it because it's too far outside of my commentary style. Right? If you're going to make a suggestion, I ideally it has to be a game that you think I would be good at, that you enjoy, that you think other people will enjoy, and then actually tune in to watch. It's pretty tough, right? Now, I don't want to discourage suggestions. Heck, I started playing Plague Inc. just because one person asked for it, and look how that turned out. But it's definitely not easy, is it? Welcome to my world. I am still planning out some new series soon-ish. You know, you got games like RimWorld, Mountain Blade, Planet Coaster, Rise of Industry, and a whole bunch more. The trick is narrowing it down because I have a backlog of game suggestions that could easily take me years to play through. You know, one thing I think that I will be doing in the future is try to make use of the community tab for my channel on YouTube, the website. It'll be a good place to interact and to place polls to gauge the interest of my community. Historically, I have not made use of this feature at all, and I think I need to change that. Maybe I'll even let the audience pick the next game. So keep an eye out for that, and please be honest with your votes. I just need genuine feedback on what you, personally, would watch so that I can make informed decisions going forward. I will also be experimenting with my video lengths, what time of day I am releasing them, how many videos I put out per week, 
And yeah, I think I will probably try to do some Let's Try videos to just test the waters. Just to see how things are going to work. So if things look a little different going forward at some point, don't be too surprised. I'm just trying to experiment and figure out what works. I think that's about everything that I wanted to cover today. Uh, I will be watching the comment section with intense interest. Please remember that I will be going on vacation pretty soon. So if I miss a week of content, that will be why. Though I might be able to record ahead of time and actually keep things going without any interruptions. I really do appreciate your patience. I do value your feedback. And I look forward to interacting with you more often in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.